Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic today is responsibilities of the quality control unit. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you are new, make sure you subscribe to get all the good content. Check out the status bar below for our agenda and stick around to the end for those bonus questions. Our topic, responsibilities of the quality control unit, comes directly from 211.22. Responsibilities of the quality control unit in five words. QC, responsibility, authority, facilities, procedures. Each manufacturer shall establish a quality control unit, QC for short, that has the authority and responsibility to disposition all components, containers, in-process materials, packaging, labeling, and finished drug products. This QC unit shall review production records for errors, and if any errors are found, ensure that they are fully investigated. If any drug products are tested by an external testing laboratory, QC must also review and disposition that product. QC must have adequate laboratories and equipment to perform their activities. They must be part of the review and approval of procedures and specifications for the drug product's identity, strength, quality, and purity. And then finally, the quality control unit, all of their processes must be documented in procedures and work instructions, and they have to follow those documented procedures and work instructions. So how do I know it's working? Well, first, the quality control unit has been established and they have the necessary authority and responsibilities. Second, the quality control unit has the needed facilities, including equipment that is validated and maintained. Third, the quality control unit reviews production records for errors and they are part of any investigation into those errors. And fourth, the quality control unit reviews procedures and specifications for the drug products. And then finally, the activities in QC have all been documented in work instructions and SOPs. How do I know it's not working? Well, first, the quality control unit has not been formally established. Second, the quality control unit doesn't have the necessary responsibilities and authorities to do their job. Third, the facilities for the quality control unit are outdated. Fourth, the quality control unit reports into operations. Fifth, the quality control unit is not reviewing production records and drug specifications. And then finally, the quality control unit processes are not formally captured and documented in work instructions and SOPs. And now for the three bonus questions. Who leads our quality control unit? Second, where do we document the authority and responsibility for the quality control unit? And then third, can I get the job description for the person that leads our quality control unit? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to me at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Making quality systems simple for you.